things looked very good for me. I was going into my junior year. Uh, during that, that year in uh, college wrestling, I had a, two concussions, actually three concussions. So one of the side effects for, on concussion is blurred vision. I went to the trainer for the wrestling team and I was already legally blind. One doctor at the Dean McGee Eye Institute diagnosed me. And my mom was there, my grandma was there, and he prayed for me. And he said, Matt, you have a hereditary disorder that was dormant. The, only, the concussion just brought it out, but this was going to happen no matter what. You know, it, it could have been a couple more years. We don't know. But there's no cure, no treatment. In saying that, you know, you have Libra's hereditary optic neuropathy. I said, you need to get a hold of visual services. You need to seek alternative methods of low vision or, or b being blind. After I was diagnosed, I went back to Stillwater and withdrew from school. And obviously withdrew from the wrestling team at Oklahoma State. But I know I have a great, great family who love me and have never, ever once told me that I couldn't do anything that I put my mind to. But we didn't know how to deal with blindness. None of us did. So we had a family meeting. Figured this was the best thing for me was Boston Carroll Center for the Blind, the number one blind institute in the world. I would learn seven different areas, basically designed to get me back into society. So after I completed Boston, came back to Oklahoma, started my life. I met a girl named Jenny. We had a son named Josh. Within three years, we were divorced. And she took Josh and, and went with her parents in Texas and really haven't had a strong relationship or connection since. If I would have had sight, it would have been different. You know, and I always told myself, I'm not, if I ever had another chance to have another family, I would never let something like that ever stop me from going to see them or, or be with them. The year 2016, I have my second chance. Met a girl, you have a daughter, Charlie Reese Holman. Here's my second chance at a family to make the rights of the wrongs of my past and be the best parent Blindness or not, I'm gonna give everything that I got for her, my, lo my little daughter. She's my world, the apple of my eye. I have custody, I'm a single dad, legally blind, taking care of a little daughter by myself. The most basic of parental skills, like reading prescriptions or reading the uh, temperature of a thermometer or reading her a little book or, or sitting in her on your front porch watching her play in the yard. Sighted parent may just normalcy for them, you know, but for someone who's low vision or no vision, it's it's a game changer. Bottom line, I'm gonna get the job done the very best I can with love and protection and safety. And I still haven't ever seen my boy. And with these glasses, I mean, that would be, it would be really, it would be really awesome to see all of my family again. Doing the little things that they do every single day that I know, I know cause I'm around them, but there's a lot that I miss. My cousin Don Holman gives me calls. They got these glasses out. I want you to call these people. There's a chance you might be able to see. So what if there's a chance you can see your family? My cousin is very adamant and very persistent in what if there is a chance. God is funny. He knows me and he knows that I probably would have never went to that appointment. But I'm just not going to set myself up to fail. Because I love my cousin Don. I called him. Picked me and my daughter up and away we went. So he said, I just want you to know that this may not work. Hoping for the best, but expecting the worst. So they hook them up on my eyes and bam, instantly. I'm like, uh oh, there's colors. And I'm looking over at my cousin Don because I, he was the one I want my little anchor. He's the only one in the room that I'd ever seen. Of course, I went right into reading the paragraphs. And I was like, oh, wow. I'm like, and I read three consecutive paragraphs. And each one, we took 30 second break. And then he lowered the, the size of the letters smaller. It got smaller and smaller and as time went on as the third paragraph. And I was reading a newspaper a foot away with these glasses. I haven't done since I was 20 years old. And then, then I get to see the most beautiful little girl that I'd ever laid eyes on. Her eyes, her little bitty smile, the, the chunky cheeks. And even though that you feel them, it's, it's a total different experience when you actually see them. I mean, there was really no way that I could ever prepare myself for what I was going to feel for those 30 seconds from looking at my little girl. I got to see my little cousins. And, and we, we sat there on the way right back. We was like, Holman? I haven't seen your kids, my kids, my sister's kids. I haven't seen no one 
in 20 years. And so now I'm like, well, there's, now there really is a possibility. All these emotions and desires that you would put at bay just because of your sight, now, now they're all coming back. I want to be able to go to a wrestling tournament and sit in a corner and coach. I want to see those little things. If I had these glasses, I would be independent, more confident as a, a young single daddy. Sometimes I feel like I keep her in a little cocoon, in a safe little cocoon at, at my home, and I very rarely go anywhere that I haven't been before with her. I, I've got to know my surroundings. I would have more options for Charlie. Very rarely do I let her outside of my, my range. People say I'm too protective. Well, no, I'm just a daddy who's, who can't see you very good. So I'm a parent that uses his hands versus someone, a parent that can sit back and use their vision. I don't have that luxury. It opens up a ton of opportunity for Charlie and for me as a parent with my daughter. It's so, you know, it's a desire that's so deep in my heart and no one's ever gonna hear me speak about it. But no, I would really love to see my daughter all the time. I would probably wear those glasses every single second of every single day that she's moving, that she's talking. I'm gonna, I don't want to miss nothing. And I'm going to do whatever I can to have that. And if these glasses help me be a better parent, ultimately, that's better for Charlie. From the very beginning, I would say thank you from the bottom of my heart that you've given me a chance to be the best that I can be for my little daughter. It's a blessing.